Detroit Tigers opening day in two days. Uh, we are located right next door to Comerica Park, a uh, block and a half down from Ford Field where the Lions play and across the street from Little Caesars Arena where the Red Wings and the Pistons play. We're really in the middle of it all. It's a very exciting. And of course, most importantly, in the middle of the most important thing, which is the worship of Jesus Christ. Our Psalms assigned for this evening are Psalms 147, 148, 149, and 150. They're relatively short Psalms. Uh, but uh, anyway, they start on page 522. So if you want to take a post-it note and stick it in that spot so that you are uh, ready to get there, because we get there pretty quickly, page 400, 522. We've got Harriet Motley, our office manager, is here. Um, Cam is missing an action. Uh, nobody knows where Cam is. He's wandered off aimlessly. We had to send out a search party for him. Uh, and uh, But uh, evening prayer itself will start on page number 25. Page number 25. I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. O Lord, open thou our lips. And our mouths shall show forth thy praise. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Okay, right to Psalm 147 and all the way through the end. Page 522. O oh, praise the Lord, for it is a good thing to sing praises unto our God. Yea, a joyful and pleasant thing it is to be thankful. The Lord doth build up Jerusalem, and gather together the outcasts of Israel. He healeth those that are broken in heart, and giveth medicine to heal their sickness. He telleth the number of the stars, and calleth them all by their names. Great is our Lord, and great is his power. Yea, and his wisdom is infinite. The Lord setteth up the meek, and bringeth the ungodly down to the ground. O oh, sing unto the Lord with thanksgiving. Sing praises upon the harp unto our God. Who covereth the heaven with clouds, and prepareth rain for the earth, and maketh the grass to grow upon the mountains, and herb for the use of men. Who giveth fodder unto the cattle, and feedeth the young ravens that call upon him. He hath no pleasure in the strength of an Horse. Neither delighteth he in any man's legs. But the Lord's delight is in them that fear him, and put their trust in his mercy. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise thy God, O Zion. For he hath made fast the bars of thy gates, and hath blessed thy children within thee. He maketh peace in thy borders, and filleth thee with the flower of wheat. He sendeth forth his commandment upon earth, and his word runneth very swiftly. He giveth the snow like wool, and scattereth the hoarfrost like ashes. He casteth forth his ice like morsels, who is able to abide his frost. He sendeth out his word, and melteth them. He bloweth with his wind, and the waters flow. He showeth his word unto Jacob, his statutes and ordinances unto Israel. He hath not dealt so with any nation, neither hath the heathen knowledge of his laws. O oh, praise the Lord from the heavens. Praise him in the heights. Praise him, all ye angels of his. Praise him, all his hosts. Praise him, sun and moon. Praise him, all ye stars and light. Praise him, all ye heavens, and ye waters that are above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Lord. For he spake the word, and they were made. He commanded, and they were created. He hath made them fast forever and ever. He hath given them a law which shall not be broken. Praise the Lord from the earth, ye dragons and all deeps. Fire and hail, snow and vapors, wind and storm, fulfilling his word. Mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars. Beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowls. Kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the world. Young men and maidens, old men and children, praise the name of the Lord, for his name only is excellent, and his praise above heaven and earth. He shall exalt the horn of his people. All his saints shall praise him, even the children of Israel, even the people that serveth him. O oh, sing unto the Lord a new song. Let the congregation of saints praise him. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. And let the children of Zion be joyful in their king. Let them praise his name in the dance. 
Let them sing praises unto him with tabret and harp. For the Lord hath pleasure in his people, and helpeth the meek hearted. Let the saints be joyful with glory. Let them rejoice in their beds. Let the praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hands. To be avenged of the nations and to rebuke the peoples. To bind their kings in chains and their nobles with links of iron. To execute judgment upon them as it is written, such honor have all his saints. O oh, praise the Lord, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him in his noble acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him in the sound of the trumpet. Praise him upon the lute and harp. Praise him in the timbrels, timbrels and dances. Praise him upon the strings and pipe. Praise him upon the well-tuned cymbals. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. Our first lesson. The first lesson today is in Lamentations, the second chapter, beginning at the 10th verse. The elders of the daughter of Zion sit upon the ground and keep silence. They have cast, du- they have cast up dust upon their heads. They have girded themselves with sackcloth. The virgins of Jerusalem hang down their heads to the ground. What thing shall I take to witness for thee? What thing shall I liken to thee, O daughters of Jerusalem? What shall I equal to thee, that I may comfort thee, O virgin daughter of Zion? For thy breach is great like the sea. Who can heal thee? The prophets have been vain and foolish things for thee. I see. The prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee and they have not discovered thine iniquity, to turn away thy captivity. But they have seen for thee false burdens and causes of banishment. All that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their heads at the daughter of Zion, saying, Is the city that that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth, All thine enemies have opened their mouth against thee. They hiss and gnash the teeth. They say we have swallowed her up. Certainly this is the day that we looked for. We have found, we have seen it. The Lord hath done that which he hath devised. He hath fulfilled his word that he had commanded in the days of old. He hath thrown down and hath not pitied and he hath caused thine enemy to rejoice over thee. He hath set up the horn of thy adversaries. Their heart crieth unto the Lord, O wall of the daughter of Zion, let tears run down like a river day and night. Give thyself no rest, let not the apple of of thine eye cease. Arise, cry out in the night, In the beginning of the watches, pour out thine heart like water before the face of the Lord. Lift up thy hands toward him for the life of thy young children that faint for hunger in the top of every street. Here endeth the lesson. Let us pray together the Magnificat found on page number 26, remembering, of course, that it's Passion Tide, so we are leaving out the Gloria Patri at the end. So far, so good tonight. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. And his mercy is on them that fear him throughout all generations. He hath showed strength with his arm. He hath scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He hath put down the mighty from their seat, and hath exalted the humble and meek. He hath filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he hath sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, hath holpen his servant Israel, 
as he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Our second lesson is written in St. John's Gospel, the 15th chapter, beginning at the 17th verse. These things I command you, that ye love one another. If the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not sin, but now that they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me hateth my father also. If I had not done among them the works which none other man did, they had not had sin, but now they have both seen and hated both me and my father. But this cometh to pass, that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law, they hated me without a cause. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. Here endeth the lesson. Let us pray together the Nunc Dimittis, found on page number 28. Page 28. Lord, now let us, thou, thy servant, depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to light in the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, show thy mercy upon us. And grant us thy salvation. O Lord, save the state. And mercifully hear us when we call upon thee. And do thy ministers with righteousness. And make thy chosen people joyful. O Lord, save thy people. And bless thine inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord. For it is thou, Lord only, that makest us dwell in safety. O God, may clean our hearts within us. And take not thy Holy Spirit from us. The Collect for Tuesday in Holy Week. O Lord God, whose blessed Son, our Savior, gave his back to the smiters and hid not his face from shame. Grant us grace to take joyfully the sufferings of the present time, in full assurance of the glory that shall be revealed. Through the same thy Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Collect appointed for Palm Sunday to be read all week. Almighty and everlasting God, who of thy tender love towards mankind, has sent thy Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, to take upon him our flesh and to suffer death upon the cross, that all mankind should follow the example of his great humility. Mercifully grant that we may both follow the example of his patience and also be made partakers of his resurrection. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and also that by thee, we being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Light in our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. 
for the love of thy only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon this whole land. And so rule the hearts of thy servants, the President of the United States, the Governor of this state, and all others in authority, that they, knowing whose ministers they are, may above all things seek thy honor and glory. And that we and all the people, duly considering whose authority they bear, may faithfully and obediently honor them according to thy blessed word and ordinance. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth ever one God, world without end. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, from whom cometh every good and perfect gift, send down upon the congregation, the, sorry, send down upon our bishops and other clergy and upon the congregations committed to their charge the healthful spirit of thy grace, that they may truly please thee, pour upon them the continual dew of thy blessing. Grant this, O Lord, for the honor of our advocate and mediator, Jesus Christ. Amen. O God, the creator and preserver of all mankind, we humbly beseech thee for all sorts and conditions of men that thou wouldest be pleased to make thy ways known unto them, thy saving health unto all nations. More especially, we pray for thy holy church universal, that it may be so guided and governed by thy good spirit that all who profess and call themselves Christians may be led into the way of truth and hold the faith and unity of spirit in the bond of peace and in righteousness of life. Finally, we commend to thy fatherly goodness all those who are in any ways afflicted or distressed in mind, body, or estate. We pray for Dennis Lennox for, as their family prepares for the death of his grandmother, Virginia. We pray for a sense of God's presence in his situation. We pray for the three guests that we had here for Mass and for their various intentions and needs. We pray for all those who are preparing for the opening of the baseball season, our neighbors, and all the work that has to be done in the next you know, 36 hours as they prepare for you know, the, the fans who will be coming and for the new season to start. We thank you, Lord, for all those who have been able to have employment because of the national pastime, and especially here in our neighborhood. all those who are administering vaccines and for those who are receiving them. We pray for the effective and safe use and the bring down the COVID infection rate. We thank you, Lord, for the Sunday worship and for doing so safely. And we pray for that more and more people will be moved to return to public worship for Easter. James, who's not with us tonight, for Cam. We thank you for Dave and David and Kathy, who help us with accounting and for the collections. And for John, his work as accountant. We thank you for Bernard and for his uh, helping today with the situation with one of our guests. that it may please you to comfort and relieve them according to their several necessities, giving them patience under their sufferings and a happy issue out of all their afflictions. And this we beg for Jesus Christ's sake. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we thine unworthy servants do give thee most humble and hearty thanks for all thy goodness and loving kindness to us and to all men. We bless thee for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life but above all for thine inestimable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we beseech thee, give us that due sense of all thy mercies, that our hearts may be unfeignedly thankful, and that we show forth thy praise not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to thy service and by walking before thee in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honor and glory, world without end. Amen. Almighty God, who has given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications unto thee, and dost promise that when two or three are gathered together in thy name, thou wilt grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, the desires and petitions of thy servants as may be most expedient for them, granting us in this world knowledge of thy truth and the world to come, life everlasting. Amen. Amen. 
the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost with us all evermore.